Hi, my name is Johan Falk. I'm in Stockholm, Sweden. This is a quick video to show a, a small project I've started today uh, called Scripted Questions. It's a sandbox project. You can find it at this URL. It's uh, NID is 1812472. Um, this is inspired mostly by a site called Khan Academy where you can do, uh, say, well, um, have something easier multiplying is uh, math question math math exercises like this and you get a number of options and you can answer say like this one and you get yay it's correct and things like that uh, this site has a whole bunch of uh, cool stuff cool math exercises on it and it could uh, potentially have other stuff as well uh, I found this Drupal module called closed question which uh, kind of allows doing this in Drupal, uh, but this is, um, uh, well, uh, this is a module aimed at site builders and editors, uh, which, and they are provided then with tools to build up questions and, and uh, answer conditions and things like that. Uh, I would like more flexibility than this, and uh, I've started a new project that is uh, targeted at coders. If you can code your own questions and scripts for, for evaluating them, then this is for you. I have just a very small uh, demo thing right now. Um, and this is now implemented. Let, let's have a look at the modules here. If you download this sandbox and install it, uh, then you'll get two modules in it. One is called scripted quiz. One is called scripted quiz examples Oops, let's not save this page and um, these provide a, a field a new field type to your uh, Drupal site that is called scripted question and um, And if you add this to in this case a basic page Then you get a field where you when you edit this node can select a question. Uh, this question is then provided by, by modules. Uh, this is uh, provided by the examples, uh, script, the scripted quiz example module. Uh, multiplying simple binomials and it looks like this. And you can try answering different things and you get uh, these sort of wrong answer things until you um, get, get it all right. Let's see if I can do that now. Should be a three here and should be a two here submit two submit great and then you get a new question you can also say I've had enough uh, and then con uh, concludes that enough is enough and you get a new question and there should be rules uh, events triggered by this so you can collect points and I have like uh, uh, see that you have now done seven in a row and when you get ten in a row you s there's an email sent off to your teacher or whatnot uh, things like that. Uh, if you think this is interesting, then you should really look at the code behind this. Uh, this is uh, all the questions. Well, the only question right now is implemented by uh, invoking a hook. It's a, a info hook for Drupal. So you describe your questions by a label. Well, machine name, first of all, a label. Then the variables used by this... Um, uh, question. These are kept uh, uh, persistently be between page loads. So if I go somewhere else and then I go back and I reload the page and things, these are st stored in the user session cookie. Uh, so you, uh, these are remembered between page loads. Nice. Uh, you should have some kind of function that allows uh, uh, setting these variables if they are not already initiated. And it should have a function that builds this question uh, and one function that evaluates the answer from the user. The question builder, if I scroll down to this, uh, is just, uh, well, returns a form array. Uh, you can load the variables, there's a helper function for that. Um, build some kind of form array uh, and send it off. And you can, of course, then add whatever you like to this. I've just added a very short text here. Uh, you, you could have images, uh, select boxes, and, and whatnot. Uh, you can, well, then down here we have the evaluation um, thingy. Uh, and this, well, it's, it's not actually. 
No, it's not. Oh, crap. Okay, I have to make this prettier. This is the standard submit function that I'm using here. Uh, and then this uh, is then evaluated against the... Uh, well, the user answer is evaluated uh, against these variables in some complex way to say yay or nay to the answer. And that's it. And this is in no way an attempt to replace Khan Academy. That would be like crazy. Uh, it's a way of complementing it because I need some stuff for my students uh, that is not on Khan Academy. I want a way to, to have it online pretty quickly. Um, yeah, if you find this interesting, uh, head over to this uh, uh, sandbox. I'm looking for uh, co-maintainers, as always. It's more fun if you're more people. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, hope you have a nice time. See you some other time. Bye.